Hey guys. So today we're going to talk a little bit about wolf ammunition. Now there's a lot of information out there on the internet, and a lot of discussions going on about the ammunition. And I want to kind of dispel some of the myths and also let you know some of the uh, downsides or some of the truths about the ammunition. And along with that, we're going to do a little bit of accuracy testing. Now, wolf ammunition is popular because of the cost. It's a low-cost alternative to most of the ammunition out there, even military surplus ammunition. So it's kind of attractive, and a lot of people use it. But a lot of people assume that it's bad for the rifle. And I want to talk a little bit about that in this video. So there are a few myths about wolf ammunition. The first myth is that the ammunition damages your rifle. Now, that's not necessarily true. There are cases where the ammunition can cause damage to the rifle, and I'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. But generally speaking, the ammunition does not cause any damage to your rifle. Another myth is that the ammunition is lacquer coated. It's not lacquer coated. It used to be lacquer coated many years ago, but in more recent times, in the last few years, they've actually used a polymer coating, which gets rid of some of the characteristics that people complained about with the lacquer. But there were some untruths about the lacquer as well. And one of those, which is carried over to the polymer coating, is that the polymer, the lacquer, builds up in the chamber and causes malfunctions of the rifle, causes the, the case to stick in the chamber. And that's not necessarily the case. But there's other reasons it can cause the case to stick, and we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. So, one of the first concerns that people have about wolf ammunition is that it actually damages the rifle. The AR-15 is the rifle that people most often talk about. They believe that the, the steel case actually damages the extractor of the rifle. Now this rifle is quite old. It's, it was built in the 70s. It's a Sporter, uh, SP-1, I'm sorry, a carbine. And I've had this rifle for a few decades. And I've fired thousands upon thousands of rounds of wolf ammunition through this rifle. I've never replaced the extractor in this rifle or any of my other AR-15s. Now, here's a recently fired case from this rifle. And you'll notice there's no damage to the rim. Actually, there's no markings whatsoever on this steel case. Now, that's not to say that some people don't have problems with, with wolf ammunition, especially with AR-15s. The problem arises with the AR-15 with the shorter barreled rifles typically. The shorter barreled rifles are out of time or they're over gassed. The AR-15 was designed for a 20 inch barrel. When you shorten the barrel to 16 inches or, or shorter on an SBR, you change the timing at which the point at which the carrier and the bolt unlock from the breech and start their rearward movement. With steel cased ammunition, if this timing isn't precise, that rearward movement will begin too early and it will try to pull that steel case, which doesn't cool as fast as brass, out of the chamber. And that's when you'll see extractor marks on the steel case, where it looks like it's pulling the head off the case, or in some cases actually separates the head from the case. That's not necessarily a problem with the ammunition, that's more of a problem with your rifle. Other rifles, like the SCAR, Mini 14, or any other 223 calibered rifle, that don't have the problem with timing, won't have that problem with wolf ammunition. The other myth is that the casings are lacquered or that the polymer or the lacquer actually builds up in the chamber of the rifle and causes it to malfunction. You can't get that lacquer on the old casings and now the modern casings with the polymer, you can't get that polymer to come off that casing even with a propane torch. It is, it's such a high temperature polymer, it does not build up in your chamber. That's purely a myth. There's no truth to that whatsoever. The truth of the matter is, is that because it's steel cased ammunition, the, the steel casing doesn't expand like brass does, doesn't create the same gas seal that a brass casing would, thereby you get carbon blowback to the rear of the action past the brass, and you also get carbon buildup in the chamber. That's what can cause malfunctions if you don't clean your rifle after shooting wolf, especially if you shoot wolf, say a thousand rounds, and then run brass cased ammunition through the rifle. You can get casings that, that will start to stick. So one of the truths about wolf ammunition is that it has a steel bullet. It's actually bimetal. If you take a magnet and put it to the tip of a wolf round, it'll actually stick. And that's why range masters at indoor ranges with metal bullet traps won't let you onto their range with wolf ammunition. By bimetal, I mean that it has a copper jacket over a steel jacket over a lead core. Now, 
there is a copper jacket and it's about twice the thickness of a piece of paper. But like I said, just underneath that is a steel core. So that's where the safety issue comes into play. First of all, steel can damage steel traps. And second of all, steel causes sparks. And at an indoor range, you have a lot of unburnt powder residue that builds up in the range and in the trap area. And those sparks can cause a fire or even an explosion. So one of the compromises in using Wolf ammunition is accuracy. It's not necessarily the most accurate ammunition in the world. It's not necessarily poor quality ammunition. It's just that it doesn't meet match standards in most cases. It's intended for training purposes. It's affordable ammunition that you can shoot a lot of. You can buy a case of it from AIM Surplus, for example, for $189. That's 1,000 rounds, a 55 grain Wolf. That's where the advantage is in the ammunition. Accuracy, it can be a little bit challenging. All right, so in the end, guys, Wolf Ammunition, it's a great alternative to the more expensive stuff, the brass-cased ammunition. If you're going to shoot Wolf and you never shot Wolf before, buy a couple boxes of it. Look for the telltale signs of problems, that being extractor marks on the rim of the case. If you don't see those extractor marks, you're not having functioning problems, you should be confident buying a case of it and using it regularly. I fire thousands and thousands of rounds of it. It's primarily the ammunition that I use. I very rarely buy more expensive ammunition, and I shoot all the time as you guys know. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching the channel and until next weekend.